All right, D&D enthusiasts, I've got some mailbag here that I'm working through, following up on some comments and some questions. Fritz, what do you do about the DM that says no to everything? And, and this is interesting because it followed the vlog from before where we explored this idea as a DM. Never say no. Let your players do whatever they want. It might be determined by a D20. It might be determined by the campaign rules, but there will be consequences, good or bad. But shifting that over from a player, getting up from behind the DM screen, sitting down as a player, has anyone ever had a DM that has said no? Now, I'm thinking back, the the past couple of years, the DMs that I've had the good fortune to sit at their table as a player, excellent, excellent top tier DMs. I don't think they've ever said no to me. I mean, I've got some crazy ideas and they kind of look at me for a second and I can see that calculation running in, the, in their mind. And it's like, well, OK, if you want to do that, Fritz. But, you know, once you do that, there's no take backs. We're right now we're just talking about it. You're thinking about it. We, we've kind of paused time for that moment. But once you roll that D20, that's it. That's it. No, no rerolls from that perspective. So it's hard for me to imagine a DM saying no. How, how would I... How would I deal with that? Now, maybe in character creation, although likewise, um, I never say no to my players for character creation, but again, there's going to be consequences and I've had um, DMs work with me. I want to share a a character that I enjoy playing and I'm bringing him back soon for the next uh, streaming game at some point. Fangsnarl. He's a knoll. Now, in D&D, in most settings, the, the monster... Character classes, how do they operate? I mean, you can use them as a template and then, of course, uh, take classes built on that. And, and Fang Snarl was a, a barbarian. But how does that fit into the campaign? How does that fit into the narrative? So I, I had said to the DM, hey, I wanted to play this Knoll, And he's got an interesting backstory because basically I want to use the character as an excuse to, to role play, to really role play with the party. And Fang Snarl's backstory was uh, he was a Knoll raider. He raided a caravan with the rest of his tribe, and I'm condensing it a little bit. The raid was defeated, and Fang Snarl was wounded. He was captured by a wizard, and the wizard cast a spell on him. You know, Fang Snarl doesn't really know about that type of stuff. That's, that's for the, the shaman in the tribe. But some sort of, of spell was cast on him that has now compelled him to go on a quest to find out what it means to be good. In every situation, he must act, behave, and be good. But he's still a knoll, and it still is the worldview of a knoll. So this caused him to, um, uh, coming into the campaign, this caused him to join a mercenary company, fight as a mercenary. Uh, He was kind of a pirate on a ship for a little while. And then uh, eventually eventually, um, left and now joins up the party to, to play from that perspective. So this is where we begin. He gets into a lot of interesting situations. Um, In the last game, we took some prisoners. The party took some prisoners. And there's always a paladin in the party, right? We take some prisoners. We interrogate them. And as we're doing that, uh, Fang Snarl's building a fire. He's getting a fire ready. He's putting up the rack. And he's like, okay, we got the information from the prisoners. Now we're going to eat them. And the party's like, what? Now I'm role-playing this with with Fang Snarl's voice. If you want to hear that voice, you're going to have to tune into the stream. And I'm like, well, we're going to eat the prisoners because that's what you do. We got the information. Now I'm a knoll and we're going to eat them. And he couldn't understand because remember, he's a knoll. So we got into this conversation of why you don't do that. And he's trying to be good and he's trying to go back and forth. So an interesting role-playing perspective. Now, in terms of saying no, and I I got a little bit of sidetrack there, but I'm I'm excited to be playing him again. From a role-playing perspective, the DM did not say no. But I had to be ready to adjust to certain situations. When we were traveling on the road and we were going to stay over at an inn, I'm not going into the inn. I had to kind of stop uh, as it came into view, camp out in the woods. There's certain areas where just a knoll is not walking around. Um, Likewise, the wizard, as we gained in, in ability, the wizard had to cast illusion spells on me if we were in a city. There were other aspects from that. I had to hide my identity. There was... It was very, very interesting to play. So the DM didn't flat out say no. The DM didn't say, Fritz, you, you can't play a beast class. Like, no, it doesn't work in the campaign. No. 
He said, well, you're going to role play it. You're going to make it interesting and you're going to give me some adventure hooks. Okay, we'll give it a try from that perspective. So in dealing with a DM that would say no, I don't want to get into an argument at the table. I never want to do that. Um, Even if I disagree with a DM, it's their table. It's their game. It's also the other players at the table. It's their game. So I, I want to respect that time and I want to respect that position. So I'm never going to confront a DM or, or get into an argument because it's just that's, – that's not D&D. But I would have to say I would ha- – how would I deal with it? I would have to accept it. I'd say, look, here's what I'd like to do. Here's what I believe my character could do. If the DM just flat out says, no, you can't do it, okay, then we go to plan B. And I think uh, ultimately every DM has their own style and we kind of sit down to play that style as we forge a narrative <laughs> If it was something regular that they kept on saying no, then I think I'd have to make a choice and say, is this a game I want to continue playing? And, and if it is, great. If it's not, then you know that's okay because there's different player personalities. There's different types of DMs. And those two don't always mesh together. 